the this Achilles drill when any sources get simplified and welcome to my lecture today where I'll walk you through some common neural anatomy steeplechase questions that can be thrown at you from an horizontal section across the brain so in this particular video we'll be taking a look at the brain along this direction can you take a look at this beautiful picture all right so in our earlier classes we've been talking about the free of view of the brain sagittal section across the brain corona section across the brain but in this particular video we'll be making a cut along the brain in this direction okay so we'll be cutting the brain along this direction and then we'll flip it across and this is actually what we'll get all right you know in our earlier classes we're kind of making a cut along this direction all right we're making cuts corona cuts across the brain but in this particular video we're making horizontal cuts across the brain all right then and this actually the structure will get all right but before getting there do understand that a number of questions can be thrown at you just from this particular cut okay from the horizontal section across the brain you can take a look at this um, particular question right here on this um, picture some gray matter has been pinned around here although you might not be able to recognize them yet but as we go on in this class we will surely visit this picture and you'll be able to answer the question but then come back to this beautiful slide here in this picture this is still an horizontal section across the brain if you zoom into what we have here you can see the blade is cutting across the brain in that plane and then these are the different structures we have and this is a textbook picture and this is more like an actual diagram okay so let me walk you through it gradually all right so in this particular section we can still see various structures making up the biggest basal ganglia around here you can see the structures like the putamen and globus pallidus around there and even the thalamus which is right here located lateral to the third ventricle so those structures are very much visible we are seeing the basal ganglia and even structures making up the diencephalon the thalamus and the lights all right and apart from this the distinctive and very much obvious lateral ventricles are there okay these are projections of the lateral ventricle specifically the anterior one of it all right and then we can see the third ventricle right here to which we have the thalamus residing lateral to it and then do you know what structure this is still? this is in fact still a part of the lateral ventricle just that this is specifically the posterior on of the ventricle of the lateral ventricle now someone is probably confused as regards what we are saying here you know this is an horizontal cut maybe this particular picture might make a lot more sense to you take a look at this you know in the ideal brain the lateral ventricle are what we're having right here the one in green okay they are seated in the brain in this direction okay and as a matter of fact you can see the third ventricle somewhere around here and then the fourth ventricle around there, they are cerebral. We're not interested in those for now. Now, remember, we're cutting through the brain in this particular direction. It's more like an horizontal cut. So, if we're cutting the brain in this particular direction, so we'll actually be seeing two parts of the lateral ventricle. Initially, yes, we'll come across the anterior of the lateral ventricle somewhere around there. As a matter of fact, we'll still cut across the third ventricle somewhere around there. All right, you know, the third ventricle is residing around there and then behind posteriorly will be cutting across the posterior on of the lateral ventricle somewhere around there so if we flip up this cap and then we kind of show what we're having this is what we'll still be having take a look at this picture this is what we have you can see the anterior of the lateral ventricle are still very much located there and as a matter of fact we can still see the third ventricle there and then the very small posterior horn otherwise called the occipital horn of the lateral ventricle will be very much visible okay i like the fact that we're starting with the ventricles first because once we have the ventricles established we can easily deduce the gray matter located around them for example we know for a fact that lateral to the anterior one of the gray matter will be having the caudate head of the caudate nucleus lateral to the third ventricle we sure do know that we'll be having the thalamus around there okay so and from there we can deduce other structures so understand the fact that in the horizontal section across the brain we'll be having different views of the lateral ventricle like different parts of it the anterior one of it somewhere here okay and in fact the third ventricle very independent and yes the posterior one of the lateral ventricle they are very much around there and apart from that let's mention some more familiar stuff around here okay you do know this picture of course from our previous classes we've shown this picture a number of times 
but just do understand that the fact that to be cutting the brain in this direction let that be at the back of your mind okay and if we are cutting through the brain in this particular direction it means we'll be revealing structures or our blade will be passing through structures like the likes of the caudate nucleus right there even the putamen and the globus pallidus to be cutting across them and as a matter of fact we'll be cutting to the two thalami right there located lateral to the third bench will be cutting across those structures and then we'll be revealing everything around here okay still that beautiful picture i like this picture in the sense that it is showing a real brain and a textbook picture on the side all right so let's start with some more familiar structures that we've probably mentioned in our earlier classes okay for example if i ask you what fissure this is can you remind me what that fissure is? That's obviously the longitudinal fissure, okay? The longitudinal fissure is what we have there. And if by any chance you find a blood vessel around there, most likely it is a branch of the anterior cerebral artery, okay? So, and then we have those around there. And as a matter of fact, you do agree with me that this is the corpus callosum. Yes, the corpus callosum is right there. And the beautiful thing is we'll be coming across the corpus callosum twice. Towards the anterior part, we'll see the body of the cord of the um, corpus callosum, and then behind, we'll see the splenium of the corpus callosum. Now, someone is probably confused. Let me get your orientation right. You know, these are horizontal cords. Take a look at this beautiful picture. Okay, so this is actually a picture showing the mid sagittal section across the brain, and of course get your orientation right this is certainly the corpus callosum around here it is seated there and it is very obvious but then in this particular class we are making our cuts across the brain in this direction okay we're cutting we're making an horizontal cut across the brain all right so and if we're cutting the, the brain across this direction we'll be revealing two parts of the corpus callosum initially our cut will pass through the body of the corpus callosum around there and then behind here it will pass through the splenium okay so that is what we are having in this particular picture right here let me show you that picture again so the corpus callosum will reveal itself twice we will first see the body of it somewhere in front here and then to the back we will see the splenium of the corpus callosum okay so and i really want you to take good note of that now now that we've established some some basic structures around this um, horizontal section we started with the fact that the ventricles are here the lateral ventricles the third ventricle the posterior of the lateral ventricle right here is the anterior of the lateral ventricle and then we moved on to some many structures we are familiar with already the likes of the longitudinal fissure around here very much associated with the anterior branches of the anterior cerebral artery and now i want to draw your attention to some gray matter that are along this horizontal section as well you are actually familiar with some of them already for example we do know that immediately lateral to the anterior of the lateral ventricle we'll be having the head of the caudate nucleus seated around there and then immediately lateral to the third ventricle by the way this is the lateral ventricle immediately um, lateral to the anterior of the lateral ventricle we'll be having the head of the caudate nucleus but lateral to the third ventricle will be having the two thalami okay the gray matter right here will be the two thalami and then we know that we'll be having a very distinctive white matter around here called the internal capsule then we'll come back to that in a jiffy but then we're still on the gray matter you do agree with me this will obviously be our lentiform nucleus okay the two lentiform nuclei which is made up of the putamen on the outside and then the globus pallidus on the inside okay so those are also around there all right so let's take them one by one starting with the caudate nucleus of course the caudate nucleus is right here let me get a better pen for that it is seated lateral to the anterior of the lateral ventricle but you have to understand that the caudate nucleus will be such that we will both see the head of the caudate nucleus and in fact the tail because we are cutting through the brain in this direction again let me show you what i mean by that you should remember this beautiful picture of course uh, and you do remember that the cord nucleus is not it does not maintain a constant shape towards the anterior part of the brain it has its head which is quite large but then it kind of narrows backward it narrows back imagine it as a rat having a head and then a tail that kind of that kind of proceed backward. Let me get a better picture for this. It will show 
these different uh, the different uh, shapes of the basal ganglia. The caudate nucleus is what we are having in green here. You can see initially it is the head which is quite large, but towards the back it is getting reduced into a smaller thing. And remember, we are cutting the brain across this along this direction. Okay, so if we are cutting the brain along this direction, it means we will encounter the caudate nucleus twice. Towards the front, we encounter the head of the caudate nucleus established. Yes, we know that for a fact. Then towards the back, we also encounter the tail of the caudate nucleus. And that's what we're having in the earlier picture. And you can see our blade is still cutting through other structures making up the basal ganglia, the putamen, the globus pallidus on the inside, and in fact, the thalamus, which is a, which is a part of the diencephalon. So, the caudate nucleus will reveal both its head and its tail. Let's go back to that beautiful picture. Take a look at it again. All right. So, caudate nucleus, we have its head in front here as well as its tail behind here. All right. So, it's important to take good note of those structures. How about the other gray matter we're having right here? You know what this gray matter is? That's obviously the thalamus. It's residing lateral to the third ventricle in the midline there okay so and then we are having the lentiform nucleus here the lentiform nucleus made up of the putamen and the globus pallidus okay it's just like a lens all right it's just like a lens somewhere around there and then the putamen is on the outside the globus pallidus is on the inside and lastly before i move on let me draw your attention to this beautiful white matter okay this band of white matter right here is the what remind me what it is the internal capsule the internal capsule just that in this case we are now seeing both limb of the internal capsule we are seeing both what we are seeing both the anterior limb of the internal capsule here and then we are seeing the posterior limb of the internal capsule get it right the internal capsule from front to back is such that it has an anterior limb it has a genu, in fact, anything you hear word genu in anatomy, it, is an, it means an angulation, and angle. And then it has the posterior limb, all right? So the anterior limb is such that it separates the head of the caudate nucleus from the lentiform nucleus, all right? That's the anterior limb somewhere around there. Why the posterior limb is such that it separates this lentiform nucleus still, but in this case it is separating it from the thalamus. Right. Remember in our corona session across the brain, we're not really seeing the anterior limb or we, we couldn't really distin distinguish it from the posterior limb. But in this particular horizontal session, it's very much obvious. Anterior limb is somewhere here, the genu angulation and then the posterior limb is somewhere behind here. So that's all regarding the gray matter residing around the um, ventricles of the brain. Okay, so now I'll draw your attention to some new structures we've not mentioned. Okay, that includes the likes of the claustrum, the external capsule, and the extreme capsule. Now, let me get a better picture for that. All right, so this picture is actually showing the new set of structures we've not mentioned earlier, and that includes the likes of the claustrum, as well as the um, white matter immediately media to it, called the external capsule, and then we in fact have the another piece of white matter lateral to that claustrum called the extreme capsule. Now, let's get a better picture for this. I want you to take note of these new structures. There are also points for questions, common questions as well with um, the horizontal section across the brain. Now, let's take a look at this better picture. In this picture, the claustrum has been represented by a gray marker, all right? So, and then, media to it, but get your orientation right, by the way, you sure do agree with me that this is the third ventricle right here. And then lateral to the third ventricle, the two thalamus are seated there. And certainly we'll be having the what the internal capsule here. Alright. The internal capsule, the posterior limb is somewhere where we have the anterior limb up there. Okay. Beyond this um internal capsule, we're having what? We'll be having the lentiform nucleus. Okay. We have the globus pallidus right here, which is in fact made up of globus pallidus internal and globus pallidus in external. And then we're having the putamen. The putamen is what we have right here. And beyond the putamen, there is a thin white band, okay? A thin white band is right there called the external capsule, okay? I'm representing it with a yellow right there. So we have the external capsule 
lateral to the putter men okay so and then the one represented as green here is certainly the claustrum okay let me use green for that too it is the claustrum and it's just a thin band of gray matter okay and that structure can actually be pinned in your stability in fact it is it is commonly pinned and you'll be asked to identify it okay so and then beyond the claustrum the one represented in green here is another thin band of white matter called what called the extreme capsule all right media to the claustrum we are having the external capsule all right but beyond the claustrum we're having the extreme capsule so it's very important to take note of those and then beyond the extreme capsule do you know what we'll be encountering can you guess of course we'll be encountering the insular cortex the deepest part of the temporal lobe somewhere here somewhere around here okay so the insular cortex is right there and beyond the beyond the insular cortex we'll certainly be finding ourselves within the cvm fissure and that CVM visual is very much associated with branches of the middle cerebral artery. Okay, they are residing somewhere around this CVM visual. Hope you are good with that. All right, let's come back to uh, other questions we've not treated here. Is there any we are leaving out? Can we do a very quick summary? Because all we've been saying so far, this is the longitudinal fissure, very much associated with the anterior cerebral artery, and then this is the beautiful anterior arm of the lateral ventricle. We're having the third ventricle right here this is a posterior on of the lateral ventricle okay and then talking about gray matter around here we have the caudate nucleus head of the caudate nucleus immediately lateral to the anterior on of the lateral ventricle we're having the two thalami located immediately lateral to the third ventricle and then beyond this gray matter we're having a beautiful band of white matter okay the band of white matter is such that there is an anterior limb of it and then there is a posterior limb of it and somewhere in, there's an angulation here called the genome all right that's the internal capsule the internal capsule we don't want to forget it all right and then beyond the internal capsule what do we have we have the lentiform nucleus made up of globus pallidus on the inside and then the putem in on the outside and obviously the one in green here that's the claustrum media to it we have the um, the external capsule lateral to that claustrum, we have the extreme capsule, and beyond that, we'll find ourselves in the insular cortex right there. That was a very quick revision on all we've been saying so far, not leaving behind or leaving out the um, corpus callosum right there. The bodies will be somewhere here, and then the splenium too will be somewhere around there. Okay, now let's take some quick questions. Questions across what we've been saying so far. Can you take a look at this model? It's not to define though, but just get your orientation right that this is just one half of a brain, all right? We're just seeing one side of it, but some structures have been pinned around here. For example, this pin right here is pointing at the structure, a gray matter here. Do you know what that gray matter is? Let me get your orientation right. This is in fact the lateral ventricle, one of the anterior of the lateral ventricle. The third ventricle will be somewhere here. And then somewhere right here, we have the posterior of the lateral ventricle. So what piece of gray matter is immediately lateral to the anterior of the lateral ventricle? Remind me. You guessed right, the caudate nucleus. Okay, this should be like an anthem in your mind by now. The head of the caudate nucleus, if we are to be very much specific. Okay, and right here, B2 is actually pointing at something. Do you know what gray matter this is? Let's erase this mess first. It's actually part of the lentiform nucleus. Do you know what it is? Of course, that's the putamen, right? So B right here is pointing to the putamen. So it's important we take note of these structures. Very important. They're not just random gray matter. They are points for your common steeple chase questions. And you don't want to miss them at any point in time. Just get your orientation right. Know your different landmarks, the likes of the ventricles and all. And then you're good to go as regards locating the structures. Even the internal capsule themselves. They could be pinned as well and you'll be asked to identify them all right let's take another um quick quiz or another one well we are to identify a and b is not to define it let me get a better picture for that okay so let's take it gradually do you know what this pin is pointing at here it's pointing at one important um structure right there let me give you a hint well is actually pointing at the deepest part of the temporal because it's actually a part of the cerebral cortex so on is echoing the insula already yes so that pin is actually pointing at the insula right there no i should have a better picture of that by the way so 
let me show you it right here so a right here the structure a is actually pointing to the insula the insula will be lining the interior part of the temple the deepest part of the temporal lobe right there and as a matter of fact do you know what b is pointing to it's also an, another band of gray matter okay you can zoom into this and see it right there that band of gray matter is a thin band is the claustrum okay it's the claustrum right there and maybe this picture will make much more sense to you right because it's such that we're having the question on this side and then we're having the answer on this side so take a look at it again so the one that was labeled a at first pinned a is lining this region and that's what we're having somewhere around here is lining that surface that's actually the insular cortex okay so why the thin band of gray matter right here is the claustrum i think we are good to go right so and if it is white matter that is pinned you just have to check if it is the medial white matter or the lateral one if it's the medium one it is the external capsule if it's the lateral one it is the extreme capsule all right so now understand that sometimes rather than an actual specimen an actual brain you could have something like a printed sheet of paper showing the horizontal section across the brain and then they will be labeled one two three and you'll be asked to identify it okay so um it's actually direct it's something you can readily um, answer let me show you a better picture such that we're having a question and the answer side by side and then let's identify them one by one starting with the one labeled number one here do you know what structure it's pointing to yes one right there is actually the putamen okay the putamen is this structure right here it's a part of the lensiform nucleus okay we have the globus pallidus and the putamen so but the one labeled one right here is the putamen and then media to it will be the um globus pallidus somewhere but we are coming to that okay so we've identified number one how about number two you know what two is it's actually pointing at that thin band of gray matter Yes, the claustrum, okay? The claustrum is what is labeled to you. How about three? How about three? Do you know what three is pointing at? Let me get your orientation right. This is actually a white band. It's such that there is an anterior limb of it and a posterior limb. Yes, the internal capsule, okay? So, and you can take a look at it right here. The internal capsule is such that there is an anterior cross, otherwise called the anterior limb. There is a genu, more like an angulation, and then there is a posterior limb of it right here. Okay, so internal capsule is what we have as three, specifically the posterior limb of the internal capsule. Okay, how about the part labeled four? Number four right here, do you know what it is pointing at? Yes, it is pointing at the globus pallidus. Yes, pointing at the globus pallidus. How about five and six? Five is pointing at the gray matter immediately lateral to one beautiful ventricle there. The anterior one of the lateral ventricle of course so five is pointing at the head of the caudate nucleus the ventricle around here is the what is the lateral ventricle the anterior one of the lateral ventricle and that ventricle too can be pinned in your stipuches and you'll be asked to identify it i think we are good as regards the various questions in this particular picture all right so and that brings us to the end of this beautiful session on some common stipuches questions associated with the horizontal section across the brain all right it's one in which you should take good note of a number of questions can be thrown at you from this point by the way there is a quiz a virtual CQJ session i've designed for you in the description box the link is right there in the description box go there eat it and practice all we've discussed so far in this lecture and if you find this video helpful of course give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel do it to hit the subscribe button now you get notifications when we have a new video thank you for tuning in